Hey everyone, and welcome back to the shop. A pre-drill and countersink bit is one of those tools, if you want to call a drill bit a tool, that I use on probably more than half the projects that I make in the shop. And that's because I make a lot of cabinets, and whenever you're making cabinets, you're often screwing parts together. And if you're going to screw parts together, you want to be able to hide the hole that you used to screw the parts together. So the way a pre-drill and countersink bit works is you have a smaller drill bit that's followed by a larger drill bit. The smaller drill bit generally goes all the way through the material while the larger drill bit bores a hole maybe a quarter to three eighths of an inch deep and then you can fill that hole with a wooden plug. And you can make that wooden plug with a plug cutting bit. In this video, I'll show you how these two tools work together. Let's imagine that these two pieces of scrap plywood are parts to a cabinet. The first thing we're gonna do is draw a line. This is a trick, anybody can learn this trick. I'm using my fingernail as a guide. I'm sure that that's probably 3 8 of an inch. Eventually, you kind of get a built-in eye. A little heavier than 3 8 that will work. So now what we wanna do is drill a hole. We'll drill two holes. And we've got the pre-drill and countersink bit. Now we've got the screw holes and we'll fill those with wooden plugs. To make the wooden plugs, we'll use the plug cutting bit. I don't have a piece of birch. This is birch plywood, but maple looks pretty close. I'll make a few plugs out of maple and a few plugs out of walnut. Sometimes I like to use a darker wood for the plugs as an added design element. Well, that's about all there is to it. Very easy to use, the countersink bit and plug cutter, and extremely useful. If you need a countersink bit and plug cutting set, check out WL Fuller. They're not a sponsor, but they happen to make great countersink bits, and that's all I use now, because I got tired of the ones that I was getting at the big box store continually breaking on me. And that can be a real headache when a drill bit breaks in a workpiece. So check these guys out. I'll have a link to their website in the description below. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Before you start your next project, click on the link in the description below for my professional woodworking plans. And tune in next time to see how to make this drill bit and driver organization shelf.